Okay, well, thanks for uh, inviting me, Jason. Uh, get a chance to share the exciting uh, information to some from new some new people. I mean, I get a chance to do this all day long now, so it's pretty wild. But uh, you guys are in for a treat to hear a little bit about what you know. Most of this veteran kind of group that even on this the Zoom that you are going to meet, Donnie Bizant, who's an international businessman, Brett Griffin, who's uh, been a um, a very successful uh, entrepreneur in his own right. Also, uh, both of them been involved in the networking industry uh, previously with myself and my wife. So they get the industry of sharing. And so, you know, I'll get them to maybe tell a little bit after they hear this introduction. But uh, my name is Don Carson. I'm, um, I guess the way to describe what I'm doing is I'm the master distributor worldwide for this company that the simplest way to describe what we're doing is we're, we're the first direct sharing company that like an eBay, but concentrating on the collectible space. And when, when you talk about direct sharing as opposed to direct selling, when people think of direct selling, they think of the, the scrubby brush guys back in the day or Eureka um, um, vacuum salesmen or people that go door to door, knock on doors or whatever. That's not what this is. So what we are is we're, a, we're like an eBay uh, where we have a, 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 well, I mean, later this year, you're going to see uh, 25,000 different SKUs of, of collectibles. Uh, from everything from uh, NASCAR, which is one of our large categories, uh, to, of course, every sport, sport genre there is, including uh, WW wrestling, which you can call a sport or not. I mean, I, I think it's a sport. I grew up going to wrestling matches when it was, uh, you guys won't even believe it, but Andre the Giant, for those of you that know anything about wrestling, I, I saw that guy hold two women. His hands were so big. <laughs> the bikini bums were in each hand. That guy was so big. So, I mean, um, I, so all of these are part of the sports category, including soccer and other things. But um, then, then it, it ventures into things that, you know, most of us don't even fathom. Like, okay, so Pokemon is a big category right now that's been proven by Logan. And he's got a $5.2 million Pokemon card hanging around his neck right now. And, and, he's, and he's brought the new level of excitement back to the Pokemon, uh, po Pokemon type uh, craze. And then if you start thinking about the dolls, like the, the Barbie dolls, which, you know, there are certain factions of people that love to collect Barbie dolls. Not me, but there are people that think of that as just a great collectible. Cabbage Patch dolls. And then there's the whole, um, the, the, the Hot Wheels and the little cars, race cars. There's thousands and thousands of different original die casts done. Well, what happened was uh, Dave Jordan, our CEO, uh, came out many, many, many years ago when he was like 15 and so for over 40 years, he's been collecting and saving individual uh, collections that he's been buying out. With every penny he would earn, he would buy a collection. And these collections were in, in uh, containers, safely kept for all these years. Most recently, he's now got three warehouses. In these um, containers are exactly what I was describing, these sports. But it's not just sports. He's got now uh, LPs, like we're talking vinyl records from 45s and up. He's got, uh, you know, um, the comic book collection was pretty impressive when I, I got to see it was amazing. You, you were there. I mean, you, you can't even believe I it. Heard, yeah, I could. And I, I have a, yeah, anyways, keep going. Yeah, the comic book one was actually pretty incredible. Two million plus comic books of old, you know, like some of the things that you would think about with a comic book with the Marv, Marvin and, or the different Marvel things, you know, Batman and else, all the other stuff. You know, then then when you when you get in behind it, he's got so many little figurines and collectibles in the categories that you would find in England and around the world that are worth a fortune and only going up. Because here's the thing: they ain't making any more antiques, right? That's an old thing. That's like anything that you can think of that's a collectible is from before. You know, it could be five, 10, 15, 20, 40, 50, 60 years ago. And so he's got what's estimated in the billions mark, but we can't say that because we've never, you know, of course taken it all and got it all valued. So we'll just say lots of millions and all of it's paid for. So when you're talking about a company launching, which you guys are, you know, getting a chance to be just ahead of the curve because we're about to go live. Um, you're, you're looking at something that is ground floor, beyond ground floor, without debt, without any risk. We're not talking about you buying hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of inventory. We're talking about you learning a concept called point click share, which is a, which is a, the way that I've been using to describe the way each and every one of the people in the world are going to market this. Now, folks, I, you guys don't know me from Adam, but 
I'm having a chance as the master distributor to talk with all areas of the interested parties that are coming here. And some of these folks are clearing their, their plates for the what they believe will be the biggest adventure they've ever done in this industry. And these guys are guys that have made multi-millions of dollars in this industry. But here's the problem with the, what we call the network marketing industry. It's been done so many times and most of it relates around nutrition or potions or lotions. And for, for the majority of the world, you know, they're competing with the same message. The message is mine's the best, we'll make your hair grow back. Mine's the best, your nose will get smaller. Mine's the best, you'll lose weight. Whatever term they come up with to say theirs is the best, there's other people saying the same thing. So what we are is a category creator. And we're opening this up to, for the first time, never been done before. And that's what's the, the most important part for a guy like myself who's had the pleasure of selling one of his companies on the New York Stock Exchange for millions, who sold another company recently uh, for a large ticket. I, I like to be first. I like to have a trend-setting opportunity. But I think what's really important is to do something that nobody else has done before. Now, there's people collecting in the world. And if you've seen the Netflix show uh, by uh, the Golden Fellow, the six episodes, that's got to open your eyes if you've even attempted to watch it yet to this opportunity. Since that show came out, there, there's articles now coming out saying that people that have collections, they've just increased their values by 10 because the world is opening their eyes to the fact. This is a term I learned recently. And I'm not sure it's an official term we legally can say, but I like this term. Collectibles are the third currency in the world because you can sustain a value. You can look at it. You can educate yourself on what something is worth. So it's kind of a currency, but it's not really something that you would say, I'm going to go buy something with this hockey card or this um, you know, KISS card or ACDC card, which of course he has all these music collections. He's got over a million Elvis Presley cards that he's getting graded right now. And when we talk about grading, that's when the value goes from $10 to hundreds of dollars and higher. So th this company that is launching before our eyes is going with or without me, uh, Donnie, Brett and others, but you guys have got a chance to be at the, the beginning stages of what I believe, and I'm putting my business career and my acumen behind this, because I still own two traditional companies. Currently, right now, I'm SMA, and I have 120 employees in those two companies. And this is, I'm, I'm hiring managers to run that and free my plate, because I've never seen anything this big and this opportunity laden for the average person in my life. Because here's the thing, and I'm going to open it up to questions to all of you. We've designed this so that anybody who has, you know, 29 bucks could start here. And here's the best part about the 29 bucks. You actually get something that could be worth more one day. And we're not going to guarantee that. But for $29, you can start in this company after you buy a membership for the company, which is $9.98. And what do you get for $9.98? Jay's Chase can share all that with you, but you get a website and you get a back office and a controlled accounting environment that does everything for you. It ships the products, it pays the, the commissions, and it absolutely keeps track of how well you're doing and where your team is growing. Because guys, this grows around the world internationally because everything we market is licensed. Everything that we do can be shipped around the globe. So there's no restriction. It's not like if I send a product that has an ingredient in it to New Zealand and somebody in New Zealand says, oh, that's not allowed here, and they shut down the company. I've seen that firsthand because ingredients sometimes are not allowed in certain countries. That's not what we're doing. We're talking about traded items that physically have a, a value that if you put it away in a safe place like Dave did for the last 40 years, has to go up in value. I mean, he bought Connor McDavid rookie cards in 2016. He bought them out because he knew one day this guy could be the guy. He's trying to do the same thing right now in hockey with uh, Bernard. Uh, Bernard and, and he's got some of it already, some of the, the, the real high value ones that he's willing to you know, state, state his reputation on in terms of being a master collector. He's considered the GOAT in this industry right now because he doesn't ask you to give his your stuff to him and he sells it like some of the auction houses do. He's letting all of his product be available to each and every one of us to share a website, point, click, and share it, and he's going to pay you with our compensation plan based on whatever they buy. And so if you get your head around that basic concept, which I'm sharing in this first you know, 10 minutes of this Zoom, we're talking about you being able to just have fun 
in an industry that many of you are familiar with and have the, the opportunity to make some money without any real big outlay of cash yourself. Folks, I've lost millions of dollars in, in, in businesses that I've had to shut down or in the years that I was in a losing phase and I had to put in more money to let it get to the point where I can make the money back. That's risk. That's traditional world that we're in business-wise. Today, it's a little harder to start anything because you've got to have the capital to do it and banks aren't just going to give you the money. So that's a, that's a picture for all of you. Um, I don't want to go into all the details of how the compensation plan works tonight, but I'm going to open up the you know this to any of you that might have a question on what I just said and how that could benefit you and how you might get involved. And then once you do that, I'll get Donnie and Brett maybe to just give you a little bit of history on what they have seen in this industry. And when I talk about the industry, I'm talking about the, the industry of people helping others. What, I, what, what we like to say is, get a little piece of a lot of people's efforts, kind of like writing a book, starring in a movie, singing a song that people play over and over again. Those are called royalties. And when we talk about the network industry, it's called residual income. So what we're doing here is taking pieces of each of these items and a portion of it gets spread out amongst a team of people that decide they want to participate. So that's the picture. So let's see who here might have a question right out of the gate. And, you know, obviously there's a couple of guys on here that I've met before Hayden and others who may have a further question to what they've learned so far, but guys, there's people bringing in right now, 50 to hundred people every week in our free pre-launch stage. And then starting next week, when they get their own passwords, they're going to log in there, pick what they want to buy. And, and they're going to get started by sharing whatever they want to share, but they all get the same link. Everybody gets the exact same opportunity to market the, the hundreds of thousands of items that'll be available at the click of a mouse or the point of a, a phone. So let's see who's got a question for me and then we'll uh, we'll see where this conversation goes. So go ahead, uh, Jace, if you've got something to start with or anybody on the Zoom here wants to ask me, go right ahead. I think it cut out there for a second at the end there, but I'll, I guess I, I'm gonna share something, you know, quick before someone you know wants to ask any questions. Um, yeah, very well said. Um, you, you basically covered, you know, most of the points. And I think, you know, if, you know, people are starting to like what they hear. And we can we can talk more about the business side of things and all and how, how all that other stuff works um, at a later time. But I think the beautiful thing of it is, is like, every, like everyone collects or everyone's buying gifts, whether you're buying from Amazon or Walmart or whatever. And essentially, it's just going to be another portal for people to buy gifts. And I think it's a great way of like, say, you know, my mom, or, or an auntie of mine knows that her, her nephew uh, is really into basketball, but she's like, oh, I'm not sure where to get him. You know, what better way than to buy, you know, a collectible package of their basketball offering, whatever, and surprise them that way and, and wow him in a sense where he'll be like, oh, you know what, this is super, this is super interesting. This is super cool. And, and, and also not just sports wise, I was talking to a friend the other day and, and we were kind of, I was kind of telling her about, you know, about the, what's going on and stuff. And, I was like, is there anything like you're interested in collecting? She's like, I love history. Like I collect a lot of history. And I was like, oh, it's funny you say that. I was actually just with Dave and he's like one of very few people in the States that has the whole presidential collection completely signed. And he collects more than just that in history. And she was just wowed by that and was like, oh, that's so cool. And I, I mentioned the vinyl records and she's, she's kind of like a hippie in that sense. She said, oh, that's awesome. So I'm just like, there's just so many different, you know, avenues and lanes for people to get involved in. It's not just a, you know, one, you know, you know, one trick pony. So I think that's the cool part about it. And then I think, you know, just, you know, talking with your friends, sharing your, your friends, building a team, getting cool items or whatever, whatever the case may be. Like I, I'm a big sports collector, obviously. I know Hayden is, he's in here. He's got a pretty wild card collection and, and Bruce is in here. And he, when I was at his house the other day, he had some of the absolute craziest items. Um, so I just know there's, there's people that have, you know, passions about this and it's just awesome. And it's, and I, the, the thing I like about it is, is in multi-level marketing, like you said, you're usually like selling a product. You're not really selling a product. You're more sharing something with friends that, hey, they want to buy a gift or they want to get involved. And then at the same time, you know, you can make some money if you tell friends about it. I had a buddy over tonight and I was chatting with him and told him and he's like, oh man, I got a ton of friends that I know, like I love to get into these things. And he likes it. And all of a sudden now he wants to talk more about it. Um, so it's just like, it's, it's a really easy flow uh, of combo. And, and uh, I feel like most of us have a lot of friends in network and, and I just feel like it's, 
it's a really unique, like you said, category creator. Like I, I've never seen anything or, or known anything um, like this before, but uh, it's out there. A lot of people um, are really into this and have passions for things. And um, this is just going to be, in my opinion, the greatest way to, to deploy it all and, and, and do it. Uh, so and I'm just excited for the launch and hoping, you know, everything goes smoothly. Yeah. So, wait, so, so a lot of what we're doing on the launch is to make this go smoothly. And so we've been putting this all in place before we went live, but you made up uh, one point about the gift giving in this industry. What happens normally in December and December, nine November and December is the value of the numbers and the sales go down because it's Christmas time, right? Or holiday season. This, this company will go up because exactly what you said, people are going to send something to somebody from the website and, and just, blow their minds off by getting something, say if it's a Boston Celtics collection or a NASCAR collection or something like a Cabbage Patch doll or a selection of, of Beanie Babies or whatever. All of this is in our portfolio. So guys, ask some questions, see where we go. We can go with this. Uh, thanks, Jace, for, for throwing that in there. Of course. Jordan. I'll start off with just a pretty simple question, but uh, okay. if ahead. you're bringing people in, how do, you, how do you go about signing them up under the tree? Do I have to go through Jace or do I have to go through you or... Where could I do that? So you're going to have your own link. You're going to get your, whatever your username is, you come up with the username. So if you're, if you're, you know, it's, your name is uh, whatever. I didn't get your first name. Sorry about that. What was your first name? Oh, Jackson. Jackson. So if you're, if you're, if your website link comes out the same as mine, it we're all the same. It's collect direct is the name of our company. Dot com forward slash whatever your username is. If it's, you know, um, right, hat trick or whatever. So that's your name, right? And so once it's gone, it's gone. Nobody can help have your username. So that link leads to our website and shopping cart. So all you do is ship. No, you don't have to go to Jace. You don't have to go to me. He hooks you up into your own website, and that website costs you nine dollars and ninety eight cents. Now on that website, you have the portfolio available to you or your contacts, your customers, or people that you know that might want to make some money because they can do the same thing you're going to do, which is become an independent representative. You don't work for Collect Direct. You're your own boss. In fact, as a Canadian, if you're in Canada, I'm not sure if you are, but you know, it's an other income line on your tax return. In the States, you would get a W or whatever it is that you'd have to get, you know, obviously uh, show that you're making X number of dollars and the company would give you that report. So they, they do everything for us. All you need to do is point, click and share wherever you want with this and learn how the compensation plan rewards you. Because every item has a volume attached to it. It's called business volume. So, so if you sell uh, or you don't, you share somebody and somebody buys that Connor McDavid rookie card. And on eBay, it's 130 bucks. And say uh, in ours, it's 119 and it's graded. Well, the volume attached to that is 80 business volume. So you get paid $20 just for them buying that. That's called a re retail reward. So they buy the card, you get paid uh, US dollars for that return. Of, or that person that bought that. But then the volume starts going into your business. And the volume is the key because as the volume goes up, you keep getting paid what's called like residual income on the volume. And, and, it, and it builds with or without you. In other words, if you brought in, say, Wyatt, and Wyatt says, hey, I'm going to bring in my friend Jim, and, and he brought in Sally and Betty, and all of them make a purchase, all that volume counts for you, even though you didn't, didn't uh, um, actually physically connect them. You connected the first person that connected the second and third and fourth person. So the volume counts. So the quick answer to your question with me not dragging it any longer than what I just said is, no, you don't have to rely on any of us. All you got to do is get yourself started, buy whatever you want, and commit to sharing it. If you share it, you're going to get paid. If you don't, you could just be a collector and say, hey, I got some great stuff that I wanted. I found it on the website. I'm going to put it in my safe and leave it there for my kids one day. That's a lot of people will do that. It's called a time capsule, right? You don't know what it'll be worth. So did that answer your question? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Somebody but else? One thing, if if pre-launch, before the website launches here, uh, yes, reach out to me or Don. We'll get you connected. And then that, he'll get them signed up because the website hasn't launched yet. But if you want to get someone in early and get it going now, then just reach out and he'll get them signed up in the website. So when it launches, they're already so, involved. So so just get their their email, their phone number, and then collectdirect.com forward slash their username, and then keep well, track of that, and I'll, I'll forward it to you guys. Yes. Yeah, so right now, all that all that uh, Jace needs is first name, last name, phone number, and email address. 
You, we don't need your credit card, nothing. You'll put that in once it goes live. You'll have an access. You'll log in with your, your telephone number, let's say. You'll get into a back office. Then it'll start asking you for your to come up with a password. And then you're, you're live at that point because you've got to say, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to be a member or a customer? Customers don't spend any money. They don't have to pay $9.98. Customers are just after the product. So if you have bring in 10 or 15 customers and all they want is a $29.98 item, well, you made five bucks on every one of those things because you get paid five bucks for a $29.98 item. And our, our goal is to have these items wow you on this website. We're not selling anything at wholesale, selling it at retail, but the retail prices that we're going to be offering here are going to be competitive with eBay and around the world. And you're going to absolutely be able to, have, to wow people. So um, yes, get your information that you want to join, who your enroller is to, to Jace or whoever else, Hayden or others. We'll get you into our free tree right now. And then as soon as we get notified we're going live, which in the next three, four or five days, you'll start logging in. You can start adding people and then they can buy what they want. And before you know it, you'll learn because there's videos that explain how this all works. It's just a point click chair business. It's not set up in a, uh, a room with a bunch of stuff and, and tables and say to people, hey, come on over to my home party. That's not what we're doing here. We're using the website as our conduit to the, to the money making activities. So the website will do all the work for you. All you got to do is say, hey, look, I, I got this card. I would hold it up on a Facebook and say, I can't believe what I just got. And, and, and people are going to ask you, where'd you get that? He said, well, I'll send you a link. If you send them the link with your username attached to it and they buy anything, you get paid. You don't do anything. That's how it works. Anybody else? I got a question. Um, so right now, I think the the owner of the company has a pretty cool connect collection built up. Um, but what happens is this, the inventory sold off. How are, how is he going to manage like, um, finding more cool stuff, I guess. Yeah, that's a great, great question. So if, over the last four months, we've been sharing on our collect direct Facebook group, um, tours of his facilities, the three, the warehouses, Jace has actually been there now and seen it. It's mind boggling, but every week and month he's buying out collections. So if the, if, the, if the value is there for him to be able to offer the compensation to all of us at 40%, roughly spread out amongst a bunch of people, with again, I can, I'm not going to explain how that 40% gets divvied up. Tonight, I'm just giving you an example. You can make 5 10 20 50 or $100 off somebody buying something. But the beautiful part is when we were in the company that I was involved with him where I was one of the top earners and I was a, his executive of the year. And guys, I did that while owning two traditional companies that were multi-million dollar companies. I found the cracks of my time to fit that in. And I played with that, that company and made a couple million dollars. I, I want you to understand, I'm not bragging, I'm just saying, this is not about doing anything all in. This could be whatever you want to do. But there are people that are going all in here because they recognize the timing of this. So, you know, when, when I talk about running out of anything, he did 400 million in eight years in that company in the nutrition space. Right now with what he currently has, he's got 10 years of 400 million a year. That he could do. He did 400 million in eight years, but he's buying collections up every week and month. We're talking semis backing up. Just just this week, he bought 17,000 pounds of Lego. Why would he do that? Because we're gonna have a Lego category where people can buy assorted Legos by the pound. He's buying this stuff up, up around the United States, and if you bring him a collection that he can buy at the right price, he will, will pays you a percentage of that collection bought price. And as it sells, he rewards the team that was connected to you up seven levels, it's called, for that collection selling eventually. That's one way we make money besides the multi-million dollar cards and items that he's putting on the website that if you get anybody to buy that, you can make, for example, in a million dollar card, $20,000 off of that. And seven people above you could get paid on that as well. That's all part of this compensation plan. So it's not just $29, $100, $500 cards. This is like Jason was saying, he's got multi-million dollar items. If you guys obviously are football fans like me in the NFL, Patrick Mahomes is probably the next GOAT as a quarterback. He's got enough Patrick Mahone stuff right now that is valued at $50 million, just as Patrick Mahone's collection. Now, he's not going to let it all go on the website because he's got his own personal favorites that'll be in his safe. But, but everything that you can imagine 
when you just go to the search bar, you'll be able to find there, right from Johnny Cash to Kenny Rogers to uh, Dolly Parton, like I said earlier, Elvis, Kiss, the different bands and rock um, heroes of the, of the old. But hockey is obviously a passion of his. He's a hockey fan, right? So if you think about every of the, all of the greats in hockey from the Bobby Orr's of the world to the current greats, they're in this collection. And it's not just one. He has hundreds, if not thousands of them. And we'll put them on the website at the price. And if anybody buys them, you get paid. But as they go away, the inventory goes to the point where it's not available. So we only have as well quantities last available, but we always have enough to make sure that anybody that orders it can get what they want. So that's how we're doing this from an inventory control standpoint. So every day we're loading SKUs on there. If I logged in right now, I could show you 358 different search buttons you could sit right now that could find something you like right from Jurassic Park on. That's what's available right now. So next, next question. Hey, Brett, why don't you come off mute? I know you're sitting there, Brett Griffin. Hello. So you and I have been in this industry and we were in the nutrition space and we did a lot of different things, but what is it about this industry that you can share with these guys? So some of them are not familiar with the power of residual income. Maybe you can just share your story of what it did for you and your, your family. Hey guys, uh, for those of you who don't uh, know me, my name's Brett Griffin. I uh, come from a small little community about three hours uh, west of Winnipeg. It's uh, just north of Brandon. Uh, the community is called Shoal Lake. Literally under 800 people live in my town. Um, I've known Don and Nancy since, I think, 2009, 2010, and uh, was introduced to my very first network marketing company from Don. And, uh, you know, didn't know anything about it, didn't understand how to share with people. Like a lot of the questions that I'm hearing tonight were the same questions I was having when I first got started. And the nice thing was is, is uh, you get these mentors like Don and Nancy that work with you, that help you out, that have been there, that, that have done the, the business before, that understand it. And then you just learn it. You learn it as you earn it. And uh, learn and earn is, is a great term. You know, it, it, uh, it's just fun. You know, when, you, when you're uh, just celebrating and, and uh, you're, you're getting paid every single week, um, you know, I, I don't want to go in depth too much on, on our story, but literally, uh, I was able to quit my full-time job, uh, in less than a year and do network marketing full-time. I'm not making any claims here. Like, you know, I, I'm just saying that's exactly what happened to me. And I, I was just being honest. I, I was having fun sharing with, uh, all kinds of people from around the world and the category here with Collect Direct got me more excited because in the space of uh, nutrition, there's a lot of competition and, and it's, it's a lot of comparing. And, and uh, I just like the fact that uh, we can share something that has never been done before. And, uh, you know, out, out of I've been involved with with Dave Jordan since August of 2015 and have been paid every single week since then. He hasn't missed a paycheck. He's uh, done exactly what he's told me he was going to do at every single point. So I got faith in the guy. I, I I seen the the collections that he has and the passion that he has. And when you can get involved with somebody with that type of passion, with uh, that type of commitment, listen, the possibilities are endless, man. It, the, the, the world is your oyster. That's for sure. Well, Brett, thanks my friend. And you know, he didn't get into all the details, but here's a guy that, that was bankrupt and, and had to borrow money to start. And just through a little learning and earning, I was able to really turn it into something else. And then his, as like ourselves decided to shift his attention here, not because we're mad at the, what we were earning on the other company, because this is just too important a time to be able to start up and something never been done before. So thanks, Brett. Appreciate that. Anybody else want to come off uh, mute before I uh, ask for uh, maybe Donnie? I know his voice is shot because he was just traveling back from Europe, but anybody else want to ask a question? Yeah, I got a quick one. Yeah. Um, just for is like you said, like for pre-launch, it's like June first or whatever. Um, when when that launches, are you going to be able to see what's in the packs, or is that more of 
when like the site officially launches. Yeah, there'll be a soft launch uh, access to images and so on that's happening very shortly. Um, as I said, every day Dave and his team are loading what's called SKUs, and the SKUs are the different items that will be behind the SKU. So this particular name of this item will have hundreds of things behind it that you can buy that that inventory. So he wants to have 1,500 SKUs with what he believes will be 75 million dollars worth of his items available for point clicking and sharing and team building. So that's all by the June 15th. So prior to June 15th, we're going to have what's called a soft launch where you get to get your, your position, you can start adding people to it yourself. And then um, when we say go green lights on, you'll put your credit card in, you'll purchase what you want and you can get started and you can get in where you fit in from as low as $29 up to as high as $549. But whatever you buy, somebody's going to make some money because it's, you know, it, you get paid what's called a retail reward for that purchase. But that's just the beginning stages of the earning. The earnings in the volume and what that volume does. So, um, so I hope that answered your question. So the point, the point of the point of this is yes, very shortly you're going to be able to see different images, different items, price points, and so on. Very, very shortly within the next week. And just one more. I was talking to somebody today, and they were just kind of looking at it as a customer standpoint. Is there going to be like any signed jerseys in there? Like, if you want to search like a baseball jersey, can you just search? a uh, specific jersey or something like that? Yeah, so over a period of months, you're going to start seeing more and more SKUs coming on um, where you're going to see like the sign, like the, the pictures that we have in the wall, that sort of stuff available. Dave has thousands of these things and he's planning on bringing that to market, but we're going to start off with, okay, for example, unopened packs are such an uh, amazing draw to the collectible industry. If you buy one of our pre-pack collections, you're going to get, five or 10 unopened packs of baseball, hockey, basketball that could have a Michael Jordan, that could have a Tom Brady, that could have, you know, other uh, baseball, uh, football, hockey stars in it, right? Could have Wayne Gretzky. Those packs are gold. And when you have those packs unopened, they're almost worth not opening them because the curiosity is there and you use them to attract people to your website, right? And so there's more of that that's going to happen that's going to be lead generation for all of you as well. That's going to be another part of our process, but you will be able to buy those packs as well through our website that'll be available as uh, for you to see. Okay. Thank you, Don. Okay. Anybody else got a, qu a question? See some names I've, I've never chatted with before, Bruce and Lance and go right ahead. Anybody? Okay. I'll switch. I know, I know uh, I was just thinking, I know Bruce is, uh, his collection is quite uh, vast and he's a big baseball fan. And um, uh, Dave's actually, he's not offering this one, but I know you'd like to watch. He's, he's got, what is it, 20 unopened? 20, packs? 20, 27 unopened 1952 Topps packs. That he's going to try, try and land a Mickey Mantle. He's going to do that yeah. on a podcast that we're going to advertise. And we expect to have 5 million people on that podcast. And the way you're going to get to that podcast is be invited by all of us with our links. And if you get there and if that person suddenly takes interest in what we're doing, they're going to be on your team if you want them to be. So yes, that's, that's a crazy thing he's about to do with, with uh, some part of his 1952 tops collection unopened packs. Next question. Come on guys, let's go. We got a few more minutes. We can um, get a little bit of information. Ah, I see somebody. Jordan? Nope. Okay, Donnie, let's let you come off mute. Donnie, I don't are you okay to talk with your voice right now? Because you just come back from Yeah, okay. So guys, don't don't let my voice scare you away. Okay. It's all that ouzo I had in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no, you know what? When you when you're listening, and I think Jay, you 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 tell it really good, man. I'm really happy you got down to see Dave because he, he is such a guy. And I, along with uh, Brett and uh, Donnie, basically we all started about the same time with our other company. And when you hang out with a guy like Dave Jordan and you see what he's got, and and I vote for what, what Brett said. From the very beginning, I've never missed a paycheck. The guy's never missed. And he always, no matter what we've done in a past company, he's always <laughs> talked about is collectible 
And we went down to his, we went, Don and actually went down maybe four or five years ago and he had all these containers in the back and I said, Dave, what's that? Well, it's all those baseball cards I was telling you about. You're kidding. Yeah, come here, let me show you. So we didn't go in the trailer. We went in his house and he had hundreds and hundreds, and you've probably seen it, Jay, of cards in, in shoe boxes. And he's bringing them all out. You got 50 of this, 50 of that, 100 of these. So when you see and you, and, and you hear him talk, and then how can you miss the energy that you've got out of Donnie here? I mean, when I first, my background, guys, is, is in the retail business. And, and that grew in, in the 80s. I, I started a, a major distribution company with Bluetooth speakers and other stuff. We did all, all the music storage. You probably, you probably used all my equipment and HMV in the day. But uh, anyways, so when Don came and approached me on doing a network market five, six years ago, I thought he was nuts. I was too busy. I'm running through comp three companies. So I didn't do it. He came back to and see me and two weeks later, full of excitement. And we sat down on my bar that you've been at, Jay, and we had a drink. And before he left, I was in. And man, within six months, we were one of, we were one of the top earners at that time. And it was just, and it was fun. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I'm a busy guy too. Like we all are. You've got your own in sports and whatever. But this had no took no time whatsoever. And if you, your friends, if they see the excitement in you, and as Brett said, with this collectible, there's nothing like it out there. And I'm so, I'm jacked on this thing, especially after I watched that King of Collectibles on Netflix. That blew my mind because that really tells you how serious this industry is. And, you know, one thing when I first came, we're all trying to think, you know, how do we get paid? How do we do that? Donnie just kept saying, you know what, just continue doing what we're saying and, and uh, the money will just come. But within six months, I was getting paid weekly. I didn't have a clue why I was getting it, but who's that guy, who's that guy? Well, it was friends that my, my friends were bringing in. I didn't know. So long story of it is when this thing launches and what Dave has done now at the beginning, before we even launch, he's given us the opportunity to get in here first. And uh, that's why I'm I'm really pumped on this thing. Well, so, Donnie, sorry for the voice. I'm looking forward to it. It was great seeing you on the beach yesterday. Guy, this guy yeah. comes, gets back to, to Canada at 3.30 in the morning uh, on Saturday night, so or Sunday morning, and he's sitting on the beach at Scotty's Beach in Kadar with me having a drink <laughs> at one o'clock in the afternoon. You're one crazy bugger, I'm telling you. I know. Yeah, okay, guys. Anybody else got a quick question here? I know I mean, you must have some ideas you got to throw at me. Challenge me. What do you What do you got? Come on. <laughs> guys, you're all shy. We're going to teach you how to get out of your own way. Lance, Lance, Lance probably got a question for you. Go ahead. Got to no. get off mute. Gotta, he's got to get off mute. Okay. Nobody's got one. I see Jordy's got his unmuted, but he's quiet. Anybody? He's just, just trying to get off mute. Lance can't figure it out. Yeah, there's a lot, bottom left hand side, usually there's a little microphone you got to click on. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, these, these, we like Wednesday night, we're doing one of these for the company. There'll be probably 120, 150, uh, 200 people on there. June, we're going to go live. When this goes, I was on with a guy today. I said, dude, slow down. I had to tell him. We want to have a chance for, for people right out of the gate to do, to do what they need to do to learn a little bit. We've got Matt Williams. You guys are baseball. This is one of the uh, all-star um, players from the uh, baseball area. He's signed 20,000 cards for Dave. We're, we're doing signed autograph cards. Goose Gossin, New York Yankee, great. Um, there's co basketball coaches that are signed cards that Dave's got thousands of. These cards are going to be in these kits and packages, and they're worth something, right? So people want these things for their future time capsules for maybe their grandkids. So that's where we're going, guys. It's it's maybe it's not for everyone, but I can tell you, if you've ever known anybody that's collected anything, they will be blown away by this potential opportunity. And if you could say go back when eBay started and say you can have a piece of eBay, would you do it? 
considering they have 135 million customers today in, the, in that business. And it started with a Pez dispenser. eBay started with a Pez dispenser. Well, guess what? Collectrec also has Pez dispensers by the thousand that are going to be offered in our search bar. So, okay, guys, we've got time for another question or two, and then we'll just sign off and, and kill the recording. So go right ahead. One more question or two. And I think one thing when you're when the people in here, when you if you're talking to friends uh, or just random people, you you're kind of starting to pitch, or you're kind of starting to tell them what, what you're getting involved in. I think you got to you know help them realize that you know they're not going to be alone in this. Um, you know, there's a big team here. Uh, they hold weekly Zoom calls um, to keep everyone up to date, answer any questions, to learn more about what's going on. And even me, like when I first got into it, like kind of like little skeptical wasn't sure what's going on but then as like the weeks went by and I started to learn more and, and kind of see what the big picture was and what's going on here that I was definitely really intrigued and and I and it's kind of been the same you know for anyone I've told that's you know been in it you know longer than you know two weeks three weeks that have started to actually watch some of the zooms or start to listen uh you know everyone's you know really fired up about about what this is and um it's risk-free so I mean you know why not right um that's that's how I look at it um you, you know, guys are all welcome to join our Facebook group called Collect Direct. Yeah. Go in there and say whoever invited you. We'll like yeah. set in there. And you could go down that timeline and watch the videos on the tours and different comments that people are made. And you can you can learn from those those different videos on your own time. And then when you're ready, hey, we're gonna be here because it's not going away. It's only gonna go completely to the roof. I believe personally this is a billion dollar company within three to five years. He's got enough inventory to do that without buying anything else. But every week, month, he's buying everything he can to be able to add to the collection for all of us. So, Chase, mm -hmm. what do you think? We got uh, anybody else? I'm, I'm not sure if you mentioned this uh, in previous Zooms, but is there going to be like a mobile app? Of yes. Anything? Yes. Good question. So right out of the gate, um, our um, um, designing team and the coders have an app that will be coming within the first 30, 60 days at our very first get together that anybody will want to join in at there'll be an app that'll be launched there, part of your uh, um, back office uh, where you can just take your phone and send the videos right from your phone. So yes, it is coming, it's being worked on. Cool. Yeah. So hey. let, me, let me kill the recording and everyone, whoever wants to stay, stay here, guys. Thanks for joining uh, Donnie and Brett and I. And so you understand um, the way a, a team kind of works is I, I, Brett, I brought Brett to the table he brings Donnie B to the table. Donnie B brought Jace to the table. So we're all connected to you guys. If you want us to help, we're there to help. Because needless to say, some of your volume, some of your commissions, we'll earn a little bit of it because it's a team concept. That's what we do. So thanks for joining us. And let me just pop it off the report. And uh, hey, maybe we'll see you Wednesday at uh, an 8 on our corporate Zoom.